Hi, it's Katrina. As the world's dwindling lion populations struggle to overcome threats of extinction, researchers and conservationists are trying to learn more about the many physical and genetic distinctions that exist among these majestic creatures. Here are eight of the most unique lions in the world. Thanks to Alamin Shai Kat for requesting this topic via Instagram. Be sure to join me on my new Instagram at Katrina Explained for behind the scenes and more. Number 8. Ethiopian Lion In 2012, a beautiful image of a midnight black lion went viral, causing some people to question whether black lions really exist. While there have been rumors around the world of black lions, there have been no documented sightings of a completely black lion. These lions would be really good at hunting at night. While melanism, the increased development of dark colored pigment, could theoretically exist, there have been no documented sightings of a completely black lion. The photo was a hoax posted to DeviantArt, and the animal in the image was actually a white lion, whose coat was darkened using photo editing software. There is such a thing as a black-maned lion, however, and they are really rare. Ethiopian lions are known for this unusual trait, but are seldom seen by humans. They're spotted so little that at one time many feared that this species had gone extinct. In early 2016, scientists with Oxford University's Wildlife Conservation Research Unit, Wild CRU, announced the discovery of lost Ethiopian lions. Acting on suspicions that there may be big cat populations in isolated parts of Ethiopia and Sudan, the team camped for two nights at Alatash National Park in northwest Ethiopia. This was a rare and dangerous opportunity, as research is often difficult in this region due to its inaccessibility and political instability. While there, the team captured footage of Ethiopian lions using camera traps. They determined that the population numbered around 50 and suspect that the species may also live in the adjacent Dinder National Park, located across the border in Sudan. Ethiopian lions are not well studied due largely to their remoteness. It takes three days by car to reach their habitat, according to Hans Bauer, a conservation biologist with Wild CRU. And if you have any problems with the car, you are really in trouble, Bauer told National Geographic. It's not somewhere you go for the weekend. That's why you need one of those awesome off-road vehicles I was telling you about. Be sure to check it out after this video if you haven't seen it yet. Where the lions live, there's no roads, electricity, or housing, just pure wilderness. In recent years, however, researchers have stepped up their efforts to learn more about these elusive big cats. Number 7. Barbary Lion the Barbary lion is also called the Atlas lion and the Nubian lion. It dwelled in the mountains and deserts of northern Africa from Egypt to Morocco, but is now considered extinct in the wild. Barbary lions grew up to 7 feet long and weighed up to 500 pounds and were the largest lion subspecies. They were also known for their dark manes, which extended past the shoulders and to the belly. Human activity is almost entirely to blame for their loss. Barbary lions were exploited in numerous ways over thousands of years, including being kept by royal families, hunted down, forced to battle Roman gladiators, and forcibly relocated to zoos. They were pushed into increasingly small habitats by human settlers and were nearly exterminated by European hunters. Between 1901 and 1910, no Barbary lions were seen. Unconfirmed sightings persisted until the late 50s. Some modern zoos claim to have Barbary lions, though. In July, the Associated Press reported that two Barbary lion cubs were born at a zoo in the Czech Republic. However, Luke Hunter, president of the big cat conservation organization Panthera, told journalist John R. Platt in a Scientific American interview that he seriously doubts pure North African lions occur in captivity anymore. He believes most Barbary lions in zoos today are hybrids with sub-Saharan species. The International Union for Conservation of Nature, or IUCN, considers Barbary lions to be extinct in both the wild and in captivity. And now for number six, but first, do you know the difference between a liger and a tigon? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you are new here and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on videos like these. Number six, Addis Ababa lion. In 2012, a population of genetically distinct lions was identified at the Addis Ababa Zoo in Ethiopia. The finding came after the zoo requested help from researchers in Leipzig in proving the lions are unique, not only in appearance, but also when it comes to their DNA. The zoo's lions are smaller than other African species and have distinct dark manes that cover their chest and belly. Researchers from the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology in Germany and the University of York in the UK compared DNA from 15 of the zoo's lions against that of six wild lion populations. 
They revealed in a study published in the European Journal of Wildlife Research that the gene sequence of all 15 lions were unique. The Addis Ababa Zoo was established by the now deceased Ethiopian Emperor Haile Selassie in 1948. The lions there today descend from seven lions of unknown origin that belong to Selassie. Since the wild source population is unknown, we can't be sure whether it still exists, said lead study author Susan Bruch. Lions with dark manes have historically been targeted by hunters because of their unique appearance. If the source population of the zoo's lions survives, it's likely very diminished. Ethiopian authorities reported that lions resembling the ones at the Addis Ababa Zoo are sometimes seen in the east and northeast of the country. Number 5. Asiatic Lion Panthera leo persica, or the Asiatic lion, is one of the few lion species that exist outside of sub-Saharan Africa. This small population dwells in Gujarat, India in the Jir Forest, a former royal hunting ground turned big cat reserve. The area inhabited by Asiatic lions is smaller than Greater London, and the population totals less than 600. They're slightly smaller than African lions, typically weighing between 300 and 500 pounds, and have sparser, darker, and shorter manes. The species once lived in the Middle East, across Asia, and on the Indian subcontinent, but was nearly hunted to extinction. Since then, the population has recovered from the brink of obliteration, but has come nowhere close to replenishing its previous numbers. The Asiatic lion is listed as endangered on the IUCN Red List, which classifies the population as stable but has not assessed the species since 2008. Threats of disease, disaster, poaching, and being pushed into increasingly small habitats by humans remain an ever-present reality for the Asiatic lion. Number 4. White Lion The white lion is not actually a species of lion, and contrary to popular belief, they're not albinos. Their strikingly beautiful color, which ranges from near blonde to white, results from a rare recessive genetic mutation known as leucism. Leucistic lions have blue or gold eyes, black patches behind their ears, and black on the tip of their nose. A white lion can only be born from two parents who carry the recessive gene that causes leucism. Sometimes a litter will contain a mixture of white and classic tawny cubs. The first recorded sighting of a white lion happened in 1938, but the animal goes back 400 years in African oral history. It was first seen in the Timbavati region of South Africa, and the Sepedi and Tsonga communities there consider the white lion to be the most sacred animal in Africa. The white lion is unique to the greater Timbavati Kruger National Park region. Like so many other exotic animals, the white lion's gene pool was nearly eradicated at the hands of European hunters. To revive the population, white lions were bred in captivity. Unfortunately, they remained in captivity under the misguided belief among conservationists of the past that they're genetically inferior to other lions, and that being in the wild jeopardizes their safety. The wild white lion population is listed as vulnerable, but is not protected from Africa's hunting industry and thus continues their fight for survival. Number 3. Lion Hybrids So, for those of you who guessed, here is the answer. A liger results from a male lion breeding with a tigress. A tigon is the product of interbreeding between a male tiger and a lioness. At a Russian zoo in 2012, a female liger mated with a male lion and gave birth to a liger. Are you confused yet? Lions and tigers typically do not interbreed in the wild because they tend not to live near each other. Feline hybrids like ligers and tigons usually result from the crossbreeding of big cats in captivity because humans wanted to see what would happen. These creatures are admittedly fascinating to look at, especially the faintly striped liger, who grows up to 5 feet tall and can reach up to 1,000 pounds, or more than twice the size of its parents. But conservationists, scientists, and animal rights advocates say there's a dark side to hybridization. With hybrids, there's a much greater chance of the genetics being messed up, according to Luke Hunter. These mixed species cats experience a higher likelihood of infertility and other health defects that can seriously hurt the animal and lead to low quality of life. While many big cat crossbreeds live healthy lives, although always in captivity, they haven't been studied much due to their rarity. The general consensus among experts, however, is that lions and tigers should be enjoyed as separate species. Number 2. West African Lion The West African lion, Panthera leo leo, has a lighter build, longer legs, and a thinner mane than other lions throughout Africa, and is thought to be more genetically similar to the Barbary and Asiatic lions than the sub-Saharan species. This species is critically endangered. The last remaining population of West African lions in Senegal lives within the 3,513 square mile Neocolo Koba National Park. 
there are an estimated 50 West African lions left in the country, out of the remaining 250 to 400 in West Africa altogether. At one time, their population numbered 40,000. The big cat conservation organization Panthera believes the Senegalese lion population may be as low as 16. There are two isolated West African lion populations in Nigeria, each numbering less than 50 lions, and another on the borders of Benin, Niger, and Burkina Faso. West African lions have unique genetic sequences not found in any other lions, including in zoos or in captivity in general. For now, conservationists seem cautiously optimistic that with the proper funding and cooperation among governments and societies, the West African lion can possibly be saved. Number 1. East African Lion Panthera leo nubica, also called the East African Lion or the Maasai Lion, is a subpopulation inhabiting parts of southern and East Africa, including Kenya, Ethiopia, Somalia, Uganda, South Sudan, Mozambique, and Tanzania. The East African Lion has longer legs and a less curved back than other subspecies. Males have unique tufts of hair on their knee joints and manes that appear to be combed backwards. They're pretty cool. Older males and males living at altitudes above 2,600 feet have thicker manes. The East African lion is regionally extinct in several countries, including Eritrea, Djibouti, Egypt, and Lesotho. In East Africa, lions are primarily threatened by hunters and herders, who kill them for going after their livestock. Conservation efforts throughout the region are largely focused on reducing conflicts between humans and lions. Putting collars on lions has helped curb these conflicts in parts of Kenya because people are forewarned of the big cat's presence and can take non-violent measures to protect their livestock. The future for East African lions looks increasingly hopeful, especially as Kenya and other parts of the region shift away from agriculture and towards service-based industries, drawing people away from the remote areas where lions live. Thanks for watching! Which of these lions was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon. Bye!